Well, Anders, uh, good afternoon and welcome afternoon. to the session. Um, to the organization, this is actually our third update. This is going to be a brief um, update on 2023, what happened, where we are today, and more importantly, um, you know, an overview of 2024, what our plans are looking like. And of course, with me here is a gentleman that uh, most of you guys know, Anders Lindgren, our group CEO. And 2022, 2023, we were discussing literally about the same time last year, 2023 is gone. Maybe give us a bit of a flavor as to what happened in that year, what can we learn from it, and then after that tell us what 2024 is going to look like. Thanks Anthony. Well time actually flies, it feels like we did this uh, you know, not a very long time ago. We're actually sitting, we're just having an extended ma management team meeting here, so we have GMT and all the business heads from all our, for all our business units here in Fairmont in Nairobi, where we take the opportunity to do this. Actually. 2023 was a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah? Yeah. You know, we positively, we actually grow our volume and market share in many other markets. I think it's very positive. We opened up Zambia as a new market. I think it's also positive. I think export is doing well, and I think we have a lot of opportunity on our ac export side going forward. And we grow our value business quite a bit as well. Yeah? Yeah. And in value, of course, we talk about everything from the accessories we're doing to our ready-made buildings, cold rooms, solar, and all these areas. Yeah? However, the issue has been we haven't been growing it good enough. Yeah? You know, we had our budget and we didn't reach that budget still. Yeah? So we're lagging a bit in our expectations which is a bit unfortunate, so we have a bit of catch up to do there. Yeah? So in the end, the result is not what we had expected and what we wanted. At the same time, we have to remember, we had quite a lot of challenges in the market as well. Yeah? As many know, you know, our currencies has been moving. We have had depreciation in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Uganda, and in South Africa. So it's been quite a challenge in that, from that point of view. Yeah? And the first six months, we really struggled with that. We managed to rectify it quite a bit during the second half of the year, which I think was very positive. Yeah? So coming from a difficult mid-year situation to much better year-end situation. Yeah? So a bit, as I said, a bit of a mixed bag. Some areas good and very good, and some areas weaker. And we still need to push more for driving our value and solution sales to our customers. <music>